being authentic, painful, lonely, and you'd think it should be an attractive quality within humans that you're showing me the essence of who you are, yet I fear you because I'm unable to reflect and mirror that genuineness that you do because I have such a level of insecurities and fear and skeletons that I'm ashamed of. So I'm going to put on this facade and hide who I am and pretend so that you will embrace me and accept me. And society has bought into this fakeness that now the new authentic is being fake because everybody is fake. That's the new norm and it's the new standard. And if you're one of those people who live truly by your core values and you show the world who you genuinely are, you will experience alienation. You will experience loneliness. Put simply, authenticity means you're true to your own personality, values, and spirit, regardless of the pressure that you're under to act otherwise. You're honest with yourself and with others and you take responsibility for your mistake. Should that be so hard? Yet yeah, it is. If you're an authentic human being, most empaths are authentic. Most neurodivergents are authentic. And the other part of authenticity is we've got to take this into account. Authenticity isn't being bluntly me. Well, this is me, so screw you. That's not being authentic. Authenticity also includes empathy with a level of understanding that certain parts of me, I don't need to hide them, I don't need to be ashamed of them, but I'm going to adapt for the bigger picture. Because assholes will say, well, I'm authentically me, I'm an asshole, that's who I am, accept it or leave it. That's not the true essence of being authentic. Authentic is honest and it comes with a level of empathy and respect. The other challenge of being authentic is how do you truly know that this is me? We are so programmed, so indoctrinated, so influenced by social media, propaganda, advertising, trends, fashions, social pressures. Well, who are you really? And that's really hard to understand because the minute you were born, you were basically indoctrinated and programmed. Children, here on average, 232 no's or negative comments a day from adults, minimizing the essence of who they are. Don't do this, don't touch that, can't say this. And so we're programmed to fit into boxes and it takes a lot of work to go inward and truly connect emotionally, spiritually, intellectually with what resonates with my core, with my soul, void of external pressure and factors. The only way I can recommend to do that is through introspection. You've got to spend a lot of time alone, listening to yourself, finding peace in nature, trying to connect with that inner child that was taken away from you. It takes a lot of work, but it is worth it because as you generally connect with you, the essence of you comes with loneliness because people are going to misunderstand you, but you will find a level of inner peace having found you. And it's a beautiful thing.